I believe I, I received some correspondence from this. And she goes to her door and she shouts. Uh, may and may I lock. say your weapon is very large and fine. <laughs> <laughs> He looks around again. It's like, yeah, it's actually looking at the broadsword, so it's like it's not perving on her. It's just like he's looking at the armor and went. Um, she pulls out the broadsword and like it's like a shing. Wow, she makes a nice big weapon. She, she makes a noise shing. She picks it out and it rings. I go majestically shing. and it's very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining her like gliding to the door, very regal and everything. And I go, Michael. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> um, She shows you the way she can like puts it. She shows you the weapon, Scott. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> come here. So, uh, not, may I have your attention, please? And like, uh, a a young kind of like well dressed man comes and says, um, "Is the weapon please? magical?" Um, uh, can you check for magic at all, or you can just give me a straight arcane check if you don't know. Anyone who's proficient in arcana could also do so. In Scots, you need your holding it and like licking it and stuff. Um, twenty-two. Yeah, this is indeed a magical weapon. Uh, you'd need okay. to like spend some time with it or identify it to know. But yeah, this is definitely got the kind of feel of a weapon that's enchanted in some way. At the very least, it's a master crafted weapon. Um, but without spending some time with it or doing some magic to it, you can't tell what it is. Mm. Um, the young man and her go back and forth for a few minutes. Says, ah, yes, uh, we received um, a letter from a Harold Brightstar um, some uh, last month or the month before, um, inquiring and saying he'd be sending representatives to the city to inquire about That's the us. guild. He says he was sending his best and brightest. <laughs> and she looks at you. Oh, I just, I just say yes. <laughs> yeah, so straight myself off. <laughs> Lick an eyeball. Yeah, I, I, I said that was gone. <laughs> <laughs> and she is going to do an insight check. Uh, oh no! <laughs> well, have you yeah. known my intelligence is a sixteen? She rolled a six <laughs> in oh, total. Shit. So oh, she's like, I yeah, was she... really hoping I hadn't started shedding yet. Maybe that started happening. What's that? Yeah, she's she finds it hard to get reading you. She's like not she's you have done a lot of weird things. You came in, she thinks you might just be really <laughs> But you are also really capable because you killed a chill. And can I... can we go in like obviously I would like to show her the troll, but I don't want to show her the whole <laughs> fuck. You don't want to show her your whole uh... thing. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to show her all of our holes. Mm, so not the yeah. whole thing, anyway. So um, is there a way the to go into a different room where nobody's there, like, excuse <laughs> ourselves to the bathroom or something, and go get the chop? And then, <laughs> then try and explain where we got the chop from. Okay. Mm. Um, I'll lady, her. you can get it out the hole. Lady <laughs> pe- 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 Pendleton? Pendleton. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Pendleton. This is just Rachel fucking up. <laughs> oh, I know, I know what's happening here, but I'm, I'm into it. Yeah, keep going. Um, could you just turn around, please? One, one second. Uh, It'll be um, worth your while, I promise. I, if you wish, I could leave the room for a few moments. Yes, that, that would be helpful. We we have something to discuss, and yeah. well, I, well, I don't want to put you out of your room. It just turn around. I have never met you before. I'm not going to turn my back on you. No. Uh, Fair enough. wants to be Fair out of the room. Enough. I'm the leader of the Fair city. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she goes out the room uh, so she can hear her. Right, okay. You hear some oh. furious but muffled talking with uh, <laughs> the <drum. laughs> Yeah, you've got a fucking large ass chill, th- uh, chill thing in there, yeah. Are you just ripping its head off? Or are you just dragging the full thing out? Who wants to get it out? <laughs> hey. <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> Right. Wait, we, we might be able to explain why we've got a chull's head, but I don't think we'll be able I to explain why we've got a whole chull. <laughs> if you just want to decapitate it, you can rip its right. goddamn head off. Uh, use... She never actually took her sword off of Scott, so Scott could just film if he wants. Can I, before he does that, because I don't know if there's anybody, any spy holes or anything, can I cast mm-hmm. minor illusions so that nobody can see <laughs> what we're doing? We're all close. Gathered around the desk, trying to hide it as well. <laughs> so after you've threw the hole in the floor, yeah, um, and you just <laughs> jump in, hear the sawing noise. Then you go up and go, "Okay, here's the minor illusion. Pitch for a plant or something." 
Um, yes, yeah, Sally, of course you can do that. <laughs> give me either, give me an arcana roll to see how successful your uh, your your minor illusion is. Okay. How do, how good does your power plant look? Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay, that is a serviceable number. That is middle of the road. Um, what I'll say is that while you're doing that, you kind of you like put the down and you go, and like a minor illusion of the floor appears. And then someone slaps out the, the hole and it's like, hey, you just do what you're doing. You, now, you understand that the hole is literally a 10-foot hole you have to jump in to get things out of, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's how You've cast Minor Illusion. Someone's going to jump into the floor. Can, can, can I'll we jump put into it on the wall? wall? You can put it on the wall if you want, and yeah. just go in that way. That might be... You is it still yeah, a 10-foot drop, though? Wouldn't, you'd still fall through, wouldn't you? I'm not clear on how the physics of this works. So what the I'm gravity, gonna... so you would, would you drop forward? But because that would be down there. Yeah, you would flip. I think it'd, it'd be like, like um, yeah. Stranger Things rules, where as soon as you go through it, it would flip you and you'd go that's through. That's what it I was thinking. Yeah. That's how that's how I would work it as well. Because I think it's, it's a, the, the whole like, It's not so much a real hole. It's like an it's old how dimension portal thing. No works. matter how much you go into it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, going to be a portal. Yes. Let's that, not get bogged down and made guessing. up pretend physics, right? So, so oh, we need another, We need to find out if we can get the hole at a different one so we can start doing. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe we can find a matching hole. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, matching holes got her. <laughs> so, uh, Dumont is climbing. Are you on your holes hole. to match, right? <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> he's taking his big, this big weapon and he's going in that hole. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll... So, uh, you go in, and yeah, there's a big meaty mess in there, mate. I. Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> Time to clean up in here. That didn't sound very <laughs> nice. Like... Have you found it yet? <laughs> she shoots in the There is a man, right. he can't! Give me a couple of minutes, I'm just getting a better position. <laughs> yeah. Put the leg up here, and then try. Yeah. And then I'll just uh, cut its head off. Yep. He finds it, whips the head out. The hole. As you see, he pulls the head right off of it, of course, yes. <laughs> and then comes out the hole. Okay. Cool. You're and then I'm going to like, look at the sword, is it clean? Um, what happens is there is uh, blood on the sword, however, if you, if you wave your sword around. Oh man, that's even worse. If you wave it around, the, the blood just goes straight off of it and it is sparkly clean. I must clean up. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> right, so yeah, um, she's have now successfully decapitated the girl um, inside I'm the sweat. I'm now. I'm going to go nap. <laughs> just, just, I mean, <laughs> face first falls out. I, I just I'll hear just, the whole uh... whisper. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye. Um, put your hole away. Yeah, um, Come on, as soon put as your hole away. Up the sword, they tried to like clean himself up a little bit, even though he's probably got some of the blood on him when he didn't come. Yeah, you got like some kind of black ickers on yourself. You kind of like when you wave the sword, you kind of got some of the carpet in that as well. So there's going to be like this weird. And he's just going to stand like trying to put his leg up on one of the stools, like yes, looking horrible. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Now, who is wearing the biggest cloak? I have got a big cloak. I don't think I've got hey, a big hey, um... <laughs> I was waiting for this to happen. Right. Just so can you guys just hide like... All my characters have big cloaks. A wave in the air. It's overcompensating. And yes. the... I thought you had it removed as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone. Um, can you Not like me. hide the head in your in your Too much uh, much. cloak? I mean, we <laughs> I was trying to just like slide cast that. You, <laughs> you brought it down that time, not me. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll kind of like wrap it in the cloak and act as if I've been hiding it behind my back all along. Right, okay, cool. And I'll just stand there yeah. waiting for it to come in. So yeah, uh, Lady Pendleton kind of comes back into the room and she's got the young uh, the man behind her who's just kind of like you know got a pad and he's kind of taking some notes and stuff. Lady, um, young man, I have something to show you. <laughs> by all means. <laughs> no, it's me, shock you. Never mind. <laughs> you showed me yes. mine. I show you mine. <laughs> <laughs> 
to it, and I'm assuming you just like, 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 I just really like the sword. I thought I, I want it, but I can't have it. <laughs> so she she takes her sword back and kind of puts it back into the scabbard. Um, yeah. Um, this would be the the head of the chill. Um, yes. That oh, is. sorry. I seem to have made a mess on your carpet. I better clean that up. And <laughs> just like grabs his cloak and starts like rubbing it in harder. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, it's uh, no issue. Dude. We have uh, cleaners that can deal with that in a moment. <laughs> no, I insist. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. <laughs> you, you're, you're making it worse. The worst. So much worse. <laughs> I was like, please stop. <laughs> this so, is yeah, the... this, this is the head. Um, just so that you know that we're not lying and that we did actually defeat it. I know I know that we come across as a bit of a mismatch group, but we actually work well together as a team, to be honest. And honestly, all, well, we really, all that we really want is uh, the support to help make our guild and um, maybe a magical weapon or two. Yeah, well, this, this is possible. truly impressive. Um, I will take you at the guild... Um, uh, I'll take that into consideration. Um, in order to uh, open a guild, you do require um, a vote of confidence from all the guild masters of the city. However, my my uh, word does carry some weight, and I will certainly be able to put a good word in for you. As long as you haven't um, done anything terrible to any guild masters, I'm sure they won't stand in your way. Um, I sort of glance at Hazel, like... <laughs> it's okay. Well, I think it would come to you first, because, you. you know, you're very, very important. And uh, you glow and beautiful, so you know exactly. I mean, ah, yes. you're smart. Oh, we love you. <laughs> I'm you not do? quite that there was yet. I need some Jesus time Christ. before I fall in love. It's like maybe we I, can I get a few say, drinks, a meal, maybe and then maybe I'll feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him sitting there, like second guess, like. Um, he ends doing it in a jokey way. It's almost like yeah. he's not being serious. It's like, like, almost I'm... like he's not being serious. However, he's okay. definitely being serious. <laughs> she does, uh, yeah, it's like she, she, her kind of pale, I think, like kind of blushes slightly at like this surprising amount of compliments coming her way. So, like, uh, you say you are different than most adventurers that I meet. They're, you're usually such a serious lot. Um, I would like to bestow upon you a gift, if that is okay. Much appreciated. Thank you, uh, kind lady. Yeah, close my eyes. Was... It's a tradition of my village. Yeah, I close my eyes. <laughs> okay. Out. I also close but my he's eyes. Doing it as if it's, uh, he's coming and she's got I like, won't close my eyes. Gonna hug him. <laughs> she uh, holds um, it kind of, she pulls um, like her religious symbol from uh, underneath her arm and she kind of crazes it for a second. It starts to glow and she goes over and Sally, she bends over and she gives you a kiss on the forehead and then she goes round and does the same to each one of you. And you see the oh. light kind of like go from her to yours, and you go ding 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 ding, and you just all level up. Nice. <gasps> oh, that I is didn't know mint. you felt that way. <laughs> Do you know, scrap what I just said. I don't need it. Wait a few months. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, so she she kind of laughs as she goes back. She's like, "No, I. That is. Um. You have done much for us. Um." May I ask, did you find any of these stolen money or magical items when you uh, you you defeated the chull? Has anyone got a good deception magical... check? <laughs> oh, do we tell her? Because if we don't tell her and we we'll screw up with our thingy, then she might not like us. We found a few things, you know. I'll take out the potions and... Um, <laughs> The bag of magic beans, and I will give her them. She holds her hand up. She says, <laughs> "No, no, you risked your life for this city. Um, I will reimburse the families of everything that you have found." Um, and she, thank you, you very just much. A note of what you have: the city coffers will provide the families, and they'll explain that the service.